got to finish the job, and uh, and uh, I promise you, uh, I am uh, I'm okay. Thank you. Fresh sound of President Biden on the campaign trail in Michigan, trying to tell voters his brain is okay. The big guy says the only way he quits is if somebody on his staff would just show him that there's no path to victory. Well, that shouldn't be too hard, right? There's plenty of polls showing that Donald Trump is clobbering Joe in key swing states, and it's got the media worried that someone isn't giving Joe the full picture. It makes me worry that the president is being given information about his political standing that may not be based in reality. If they're not telling him the truth, he is in a very, very tough spot. I don't know anyone in politics who would tell you, who looks at the numbers that we see, would tell you that he has a very good chance. It's obvious to me that his wife and son are not letting him see the actual state of his political affairs. A longtime Biden advisor. Uh, just texted me. I am frustrated at the family, the Biden family, for not expanding the circle so there would be at least a truth teller or two in their midst. While we're on the subject of his staff, Axios is out with another stunning report that claims that Joe Biden is shrinking his inner circle to a group of yes men and women who block him from getting negative information. It says, quote, the White House now is being run by the family and staff who are effectively family, a group that also includes the First Lady Jill Biden's top aide and deputy chief of staff. So, Greg, Hunter Biden is now a top presidential advisor. We all know he makes really good decisions about big topics. Yeah, you know, uh, this is the problem, you know, the inner circle not telling you the truth. It's like when Jesse... You know, remember when uh, Jesse Primetime, your staff, said that dancing to music in your chair was very cool? <laughs> no. Everybody outside the show was laughing at him. It took me, a good friend, an honest friend, to tell him he was embarrassing himself by what I did was I made a montage. Okay, that and was that, not the staff's idea. That was my idea. Yes, but this is what you do when you ce celebrate yourself, surround yourself with people who don't care enough to tell you the truth. And I, obviously, Hunter's looking out for himself. He's got money to worry about. He's got a lot of things to worry about. Uh, and as long as you have power, no one's going to tell you otherwise. And the sad thing about Joe is spouses are designed for that, to tell you what your co-workers and friends won't tell you. Unfortunately, Jill is a spouse, and she's controlling the spigot of information. She's controlling everything. And, that, and the thing that, I guess, bugs me about this whole thing is that they're worried about the numbers and not the nation. The stats should be like, who cares? It's like the guy's not well. He can't run a country. It's not about like, oh, you might lose. Maybe, maybe you should tell him, you know what, this isn't good. You said that you said that Trump was the selfish one who wouldn't give up power. Look at you, dude. Yeah. Judge, first lady Jill Biden, after that debate, went out in public and told Joe that he did a great job. I think that backs up the accusation oh. that he's not getting the truth from her. Well, I don't think there's any question but that Jill Biden, you know, the, the make-believe doctor is a make-believe medical doctor. Uh, too bad she wasn't a doctor. I mean, she might be able to help him a little bit. But, you know, she is the one who has dug her heels in. And you cannot get into the White House to see Joe unless Jill approves it. All right? So you have Hunter, who desperately needs his father to be president. I mean, there's still a lot going on in terms of his future. And Jill, who absolutely loves it, she has been literally coordinating and, and, and shielding Joe Biden, directing him to look this way, look that way, walk this way, walk that way. It's too important to her, and it's very sad. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, I, you know, I referenced Truman's wife and, and Lyndon Johnson's wife, who said, no, we're not going to let this happen to our husbands. No second term. But she is a woman who, you know, is 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 committed to running again. And I just want to say one thing about the debate. Joe Biden, the original debate, Joe Biden was a different man than he was last night. And people don't talk about it that much, but I don't know who handled him before that debate. But whatever he was given, just he was speaking ahead of his thoughts and he was speaking too quickly and he was dozing off. There was something going on with him. And I really believe that the family is not willing to say what it was that happened. I'm not suggesting in any way that Joe Biden has all his marbles because he does. Yeah. But at the same time, he doesn't. But at the same time, I think that there's a lot going on behind the scenes. The Dems have been complicit. They know he's not accurate, but what uh, that he's not on top of his game. But what yesterday did, what last night did, 
was allowed him to stay in until the end of the year. If he flipped out last night, like the debate, they would have said he's got to go 25th Amendment. So, Kevin, how does the president get out of this polling problem? He keeps saying, if they show me the evidence and the data, I'm willing to think about stepping aside. Delegates can vote for whoever they want at convention. The data's been pretty bad for him for a couple of months. In the last two weeks, according to the campaign manager, been really rough. Well, here I thought, Judge, you were on our team for uh, you yeah, know, at I least until am. the commercial break, you know, <laughs> helping up Joe. Uh, listen, you know, uh, you've got 538 out there actually today saying that Joe Biden would win 271 to Donald Trump's 269, right? So you've got these polls. That, and I, I said last week when the, it, <laughs> Nate Silver came out against Joe Biden that he was a terrible pollster. Now I'm celebrating him a little bit. I've changed my tune a little bit because he's right now uh, in terms of the president. But you know, polls have been all over the place. There is some trend lines in some of these battleground states since the debate. Uh, I'm hopeful that going into next week, we can refocus the conversation on Donald Trump. When it's a referendum, as it has been on Joe Biden since the debate, we lose, right? He's got to refocus the campaign. And to your point earlier, he tried to do that a little bit with the, the press conference at NATO. We can debate whether that was the proper format uh, and location for that. But he's got to reformat and, and refocus the debate on, on Donald Trump. That's how he wins. Jesse? Well, I don't think polling is going to push them out. It's got to be pain. They have to find an offshore bank account with Chinese money in it. Or a whistleblower has to come forward. Or they really pull some crazy move with delegates behind the scenes at the convention. But this guy has four decades of watching politics. Mm -hmm. He's seen polls turn around. He's seen black swan events. He saw one in 2020. You could have a tragedy. You could have Trump had food poisoning before the next debate and throw up all over the yeah. place. Anything could happen. And that's why he's going to stay in it. Yes, his map is shrinking. He has a very narrow path through the Rust Belt where he has to basically clean sweep it. Is it impossible? No. Is it improbable? Yes. All he needs to do is make it to the convention. He has one month. If he can survive one month, he's locked in the nomination, and there it is. Even less than that, because we're doing that roll call in like two weeks. We, two weeks. Even, yeah. even two faster. Weeks. Even you know faster. What? Remember, he's been in politics for 50 years. Yeah. He's got a thick skin. Yes, he's he does. used to that. And early voting. is about October surprises. Yes, yes he, he does. does. He might Indeed. be one of those. Yes. And early voting starts in September in some places, so yes. there you go. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.